Welcome to the Miami Heat Zone Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. I'm pushing the 5,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button and thank you for all the support. The Miami Heat didn't sign any major free agent this summer considering their early trade for Terry Rozier as the equivalent of a major free agent acquisition per Andy Ellsberg. Our free agent move this year was the Terry Rozier move. We decided to do it early. First of all, that makes no sense to me only because if you make a move last year, that was last year's move in my opinion. I understand that we were not not able to see a healthy Terry Rozier, which I think he's a baller. I think he's a hooper. And this Miami Heat team, we better hope and pray that he really does solve some of the scoring issues that we have. I'm hoping that in this training camp, we'll be able to see how will Spo dish out that starting lineup. Because I know a lot of people don't want Terry and Tyler to start with each other, but that's the problem. Why did they go get Terry Rozier if Tyler Hero doesn't work with him in that backcourt? It just doesn't make sense to me. Once again, I think that Tyler Hero, he's a great scorer, but I just don't see them moving him to the bench, especially now. He's been on this Miami Heat team way too long. They are not moving him to the bench. I just think that this Miami Heat team, even though it's very, very hard to believe, they're banking on the internal development. With Jaime, Jovic, possibly even Khalil Ware, you know, they have Bam Adebayo coming back strong. They have Jimmy Butler coming back on a contract season, but... I know a lot of people are saying that we have four 20-point-per-game scores, but we've never been able to see it. Also, too, are those four guys, are they going to be able to play with each other? Are they going to be able to have that that efficient offense? Is it going to look smooth? Because even when Terry Rozier got here, I know it took him a few games to kind of get acclimated to the new team, but it was looking rough out there, and we were still not able to score more than 90 points. So once again, I think this is a very big gamble. I just don't like when they say that we made our move last year. No, that was last year's move. This coming season is completely different. The East has gotten tremendously better. The New York Knicks, the Pacers, and the Orlando Magic, they're getting better. They're a very good young team. The Boston Celtics, they're not going anywhere. The Philadelphia 76ers, they got Paul George. I know a lot of people are saying that we were never healthy, but we've never been healthy all these different years, and it sucks. I really do hope that this Miami Heat team can win a championship. But, it, I mean, like, think about it. If Eric Spolstra hasn't been able to figure out how Jimmy and Bam and Tyler can work together, how is it going to be any better this coming season? Like I said, I know that we have returning players that will get better, but that's a very big gamble. Let me know what you guys think. What's your starting lineup? Do you guys think that the Miami Heat, quote-unquote, made their move? That's why they didn't really try to get anyone. I know we don't have any cap space to get good quality free agents, but... Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 5,000 subscribers.